Welcome back to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edward, and it's great to have every single one of you back here today. We are going to make a dead man's handle, and it is the best name for a cocktail I've heard in a long time, except for maybe Satan's Whiskers. Anyways, the dead man's handle is actually an emergency shutoff function that was invented for trains. So when the conductor raised his hand off this switch, it would automatically undepress and shut down the train. So that way, if the uh, conductor was ill or dead, the train would stop safely. However, this cocktail first came to my notice by Steve the Bartender's video, and I will put a link down below in the description for you, and also an Imbibe magazine where they dedicate an all of three lines and a fancy little picture to it. But before we get into making the cocktail, let's talk about the ingredients. The first thing we're going to use is our Aperol. This orangey goodness that's full of herbal notes and our sweet bitterness is perfect for this cocktail. The next thing we're going to use is a little bit of Blanco tequila, AKA silver tequila or white tequila. In this case, I am using Altos Umelka. Now we are going to use a homemade Orgeat syrup, and this is an almond and orange syrup, and I will put the ingredients in the description down below. We also need lime juice. Now, if I have enough lime left over, we'll use that as a garnish as well. But the proper garnish for this is tahine, a Mexican spice that's just awesome. Let's get into it. All right, this is a shaken cocktail. So the first thing you need is your shaking glass, but you're going to put that off to the side. Next, you're going to grab a lime and then you're going to grab a knife. Cut your lime in half and then cut a small wedge so that you have a garnish ready to go. Grab your squeezer, depending on whatever you want to use. And for this, we need half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Very nice, we'll put this off to the side here. Put that right there. Now, the next thing you're going to do is grab your orjat, or orjat, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And this is an almond and orange syrup. It's handmade, again, the description is down below on how to make this. And we need a half an ounce or 15 milliliters of this as well. Okay, now my orgeat is slightly darker because I do not blanch the almonds first, unlike a lot of people. You wanna grab your Aperol next. And we're gonna use three quarters of an ounce or two and a two and a half milliliters. Almost there. Next we need tequila. And for this, we are going to use an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Ooh, look at that color. Now, I did say this was a shaken cocktail, but I am going to use a little bit of crushed ice rather than just uh, using some regular ice. And that way I can dump directly into my cocktail glass. Give it a flip and just shake it gently. Oh yeah, pop that off like so. Grab your glass of choice. I'm using a small stemless goblet or a tulip glass. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump right now. And then I'm going to fill the rest of the glass with some crushed ice. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Next, you wanna take your little bit of a lime wedge, throw it there, and then you wanna grab your tahini. And you just wanna sprinkle it gently on top like so. Then you wanna grab a straw, and look at that. Absolutely fantastic looking. Let's give it a sip. Oh, <clears throat> that is so good. The tequila comes through, but it's not overpoweringly strong. The Aperol and the Almond Orgeat beautifully blend together with the lime. It is such a good drink. Oh, hmm. God damn it, I don't need the straw. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a great afternoon. Okay. 
we are making a dead man's handle, AKA a dead man's switch. Ostentatiously or ostensibly, uh, big fancy works, who cares? 